This is the Moffett float case. It's a floating case for the iPad Pro. My thanks to Moffett for sponsoring this video. So there's two versions of this case, one for the 11 inch iPad Pro and one for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. The one I have here is for the 11 inch iPad Pro. As you can see, it's a solid standing case. But what's really cool about it is it's also a protective case as well. So we can fold up this stand here, which we'll talk about more in a second, but there's this rubberized material all the way around the back and the sides of the case that will protect it from any scratches or anything like that. Now there's no front cover or anything like that. So if you're somebody that likes a front cover, that's something you're gonna wanna keep in mind. Now, essentially there's four modes that you can use this case in. So the first is desktop mode. So that's when we pull out this flap right here. It's it's kind of a very um, firm stand right here. So it takes a little bit of kind of effort to get it undone, which is good because you don't want it collapsing uh, in the standing mode. When you put it in the standing case right here, there's this kickstand right here that you have to push out. And again, that takes a little bit of effort, but it's not bad because like you don't want it just flying out whenever. So you put this kickstand out and you can stand it up like this. But my one issue is when you kind of start tapping on the screen, it wobbles a little bit. It's it, it, it's not great, it's not terrible, but the my concern is if you hit it too hard, it'll go back and it's gonna break this kickstand that kicks out. And you need this kickstand when it's up high like this to kind of balance out the case. Because if you don't have that, it's just gonna wanna do a backflip. As soon as you kinda put it up high, it's gonna wanna do a backflip like that. So you kinda have to, you can't put it up all the way. You have to put it down just a little bit and then you put it like that. And then so when it's like that, you can put it like this, even, even still, like you kinda saw that right there, it kinda started to do a backflip. So you can put it at this height right here, have a keyboard and mouse and work with it. This is essentially a desktop mode for this case. This mode is also really beneficial if you do a lot of FaceTime, Zoom, Skype calls, whatever. It's something we're all doing a lot of right now. It brings the iPad up off the desk more than like something like the Magic Keyboard would. So it gets the iPad at a better height for doing video calls. Now, I still wish it could get a bit higher. What I would love to see is something like in this section right here, make this telescoping somehow so it can get up even higher because right now in this position, and I'm not really sitting in like a normal uh, video call position. Uh, I'm, I had the desk up a little higher. I'm sitting a little higher. Normally everything would be a lot lower when I was doing video calls, but um, it's still going up. So people I'm on the video call with, they're gonna see up my nose. So if I was to do a video call or something, I would put something underneath this case, um, whether it's a book or a binder or something, I'd put something underneath it just to kind of raise it up a bit more. So the next mode is a drawing mode, and this is where the Moffett case gets really, really good. So the Apple Pencil, it comes with this case for the Apple Pencil right here that kind of just magnetically attaches, uses the magnets uh, of this strip right here, and then the magnets of the Apple Pencil to kind of hold itself in place. Personally, I don't like this because I find it to be more effort to get the Apple Pencil out. I just like, you know, sticking the Apple Pencil right there. It's fine. If you're somebody that's really worried about the Apple Pencil coming off, this could be handy. It doesn't ever come off for me. So I just put the Apple Pencil right there. But for drawing mode, what you do is you just tilt it all the way back. And then you kind of bring it down a little bit to the height that you want. And then you could just start drawing. And I found this to be pretty good. Now I'm not a professional artist, so I don't know exactly what the best kind of angle for art is, I guess, but um, from any of the angles that I was using to kind of draw on the Apple Pencil, it seemed to be really good. Also, if you were taking notes with the iPad using the Apple Pencil, this could be kind of good to keep it at a much more usable angle than whether it's flat right on the desk. And the third mode is a portrait mode. So you pull the kickstand out just like you normally would for any of the other modes, but you just leave the iPad in portrait mode. A big part of this case is just finding the right angle to balance the weight appropriately. If it's too top heavy, it's gonna fall over, etc. So portrait mode is kind of nice because uh, let's be honest, most people that do FaceTime calls or whatever do them in vertical mode. Uh, this is kind of a good way to keep everything vertical so you're not having one person do a FaceTime call in landscape and another person do it in vertical. The other way I found this mode, basically this vertical mode or portrait mode or whatever you wanna call it to be really handy is when cooking. You could have your recipe up right here on the iPad 
while you're cooking. And when it's in vertical mode, you get more screen real estate. You get more, you could see more on the portrait orientation of the iPad. So if you're cooking, you got stuff on your hands, you really don't wanna to be touching your iPad you can see your recipe or you can see more of the instructions right there on the iPad. Kind of a, a very specific use case, but one that I actually think is kind of neat. And the last mode is the most obvious one. Well, it's tablet mode, because again, at the end of the day, the iPad is a tablet. It's a touch first uh, experience. So when you want to use it in tablet mode, you just close it all up and you hold it. Um, it feels fine. Like it doesn't add an extra weight or bulk to the iPad um, to make it uncomfortable to hold in a tablet mode for a long period of time. Um, it's it's really not that much more. It, it feels good in the hand. This isn't a case that I would get annoyed at when I was trying to use my uh, iPad as a tablet as opposed to some sort of desktop stand. This, this works really well like this. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is because this case covers the back completely, there is no access to the smart connector. So if you're wanting to use this with a keyboard, case well you're not gonna be able to use it with one that that has a, a smart connector attached so not the magic keyboard not the logitech one um, that's unfortunate but i get what they're going for here they want this to be like an ipad case that can be a stand and then you can pair it with a bluetooth keyboard and mouse whenever you need to um, that's a really great idea and I think it works for this um, other than like my few little issues with it about like when it's in desktop mode like this how it kind of just wants to fall back if you have it up too high so you can't have it up that high you need to keep that in mind you need to keep it lower down you can push the angle back a bit use this kickstand back here um, and then my other issue with it is that when you touch the screen it wobbles a bit Again, the iPad is a touch first experience. That's really important as far as using the iPad goes because yeah, we can use a mouse and we can use a keyboard with it. But at the end of the day, the UI is built around touch. If you're somebody that's on the go a lot and needs you know, a stand or something with your iPad and doesn't wanna carry around a separate product or whatever in your bag, this is a great case for you. It's always attached to the iPad. The stand's always there, so you can pull it out and use it whenever you need to, but you can also use your iPad in tablet mode whenever you need to as well. If you're somebody that uses the Apple Pencil with this a lot, well, this is a great drawing stand, great, great canvas in order to use it on. Um, I, again, I'm not much of an artist, so you know you can take my opinion as, as you will, but I think this is a really good situation in order to use the Apple Pencil with. This product is currently on Kickstarter. I will go ahead and put a link to the Kickstarter campaign in the description below. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.